Yeah, g'day, Mob. It's Petro Sivanasivi here, Deadly Choice Ambassador, uh, and I'm very fortunate uh, to be joined by uh, a couple of Murray Carnival legends. I I'm going to call them that because uh, the way I saw these fellas ripping uh, last uh, carnival was amazing, and uh, they were a big part of, uh, I guess, why uh, the Gulf Warriors were so strong, and uh, they're very excited to uh, be taking a part again uh, in this year's Murray Carnival. Um, and uh, I'm just going to get you lads to introduce yourselves and tell us about uh, your mob and where you're from. So I'm Davin Crampton. Um, my mob are the Tatalaka and the Kukach mob, so that's the Gulf of Carpentaria. Um, I live in, I currently live in Cairns at the moment, but Normton is about 800 kilometres west of Cairns, 800 kilometre drive. Um, so I currently work in Cairns as a team leader for, Deadly, for the Deadly Choices team in Cairns. Okay. I um Badagi Gibuma. Um my mob are from up Boingo Island and Pomperau, um, which is about eight hundred Ks northwest of Cairns as well, and Boingo's up in the Torres Straits. Um yeah, it's been good to have a yarn with you today. Fantastic, lads. Thank you so much. And just a big shout out to your mobs and uh it's just wonderful that we can have you fellas here uh, representing proudly the Gulf Warriors, the mighty Gulf Warriors and uh uh, as, as you were saying there, uh, Davin, you, you mentioned, um, you know, the pride it, uh, there is in, in representing uh, the community. And for, for you, what, what, what does it mean to you to, to have a team playing uh, in the Murray Carnival? Oh, mate, like, so Normton's only a small place, probably about 1,500 people there. So any <clears throat> any time when someone's representing the, the community, like, it, it's, it's a big thing back home. Yep. You know, like, it's... It's a Murray Great Plant, so everyone's talking about it. As soon as someone someone does something, everyone's talking about it, and you you can tell the passion in in their voices when when they when they're speaking about it, because everyone's getting behind it. Everyone's everyone's supporting whoever that kid or 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 the team or whoever makes it. That's unreal, and you you're right. It, it, like even from the young ones, they just know that. Uh, you know, they've got their team there represented. It's something that they can aspire to. And, and, and Dougie, for you yourself, um, what, what does it mean to you to, to, to pull on the colours? Oh, yeah, it means a lot. Eh? Um, my partner's from there, you know, I finally got to represent golf after about <laughs> five years of this one asking me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, just big moment for me, you know, finally got to have a run with them, you know, give back to my partner and their family. Yeah. Yeah, that's fantastic, eh? And uh, I just hope that your, your signing uh, didn't phrase over the salary cap, eh? Uh, uh, I, I heard you're, you're a big signing for him, so that's good. And and what a wonderful way, as you said, uh, just to to represent your partner and um, you know, and again, for people uh, to to tune in and to, to see you fellows there representing, so it's awesome. Now, um, so you fellows made it through to the the, the decider uh, in your first year, and so what what are your recollections of that? I, I didn't play last year, unfortunately. We um. Our comp, the Cairns comp, got pushed back two weeks, yeah. so we were still in our season. But I was yeah. on the edge of my seat watching it through, watching it yeah. live. <laughs> but Dougie played last year, so he'll be able to touch on that a bit more. Yeah, no, it was a pretty big moment. I eh? like um, probably the biggest crowd I've played in front of. Um, getting distracted, you know, very <laughs> nerve wracking. <laughs> um, yeah, just a big moment for me. But yeah, I was happy to be there. Yeah, and and your thoughts on the the level of competition. Uh, Dougie, did that was was that something that you expected expecting, or did you were you surprised by probably the level of play that that you uh, that you saw? Yeah, no, it was something that I expected. I knew some of the fellas in the Herga team and what they're capable of doing. Herga, go out this left hand side through the hands, oh, that's a great try. and they needed that try too. George. Oh, lost the ball. Play on. Where's Conlon? Gets the ball. He lost it clean, and Wes Conlon picked up the scraps. Oh, just uh, we didn't get there in the end, I guess. Yeah, yeah, and and again, it just speaks volumes, eh, of of just the, the level of competition in the Murray Carnival. And uh, as I said, for you guys uh, to be there um, again just shows the standard and quality of players that you have. So you've come close to claiming the silverware. So what do you reckon you've got to do different this this year, uh, apart from staying healthy and keeping a full <laughs> squad on? Because it is, it, it's it's a it's a uh, it's a tough process, isn't it? You got to get through each round game and just hope that you know you keep everyone on the field. But for, for you guys, is this anything different that you you can can bring this year to to try and get you over the line? 
No, not too much different. I, we, we went pretty good through the round games and um, not sure, too sure what, what we have to change. Just if we could just pick it up a bit. Not too much. Yeah. Well, good. Still going this left side. Good hands, cut out pass, finds the mark, steps inside. He's got the oh, power to go through. It. Well done there, Gideon Geller Mosby. You just got to get in the ball. He's a powerhouse. Back to the right. Nice little pop pass through the hands again, and they're doing well. Got the overlap. Does he get it in the corner, or is his foot out? And, and, and yourself, Davin, you, you, you'll be having a run? Well, yeah, I'll run around this year. Um, <laughs> I think um, with maybe well, it's hard watching it, like frustrating watching it, but maybe um, just the outside outside of the footy, footy, like just look at like take care of the body, healthy, you know. Eat, eat better. Yeah. Make sure we're hydrated, like just to keep us prepared for the next game. Mm -hmm. That might be a little step. Yeah, that, and that's it, isn't it? It's just about uh, just just trying to stay in in uh, good enough shape that you're mm. able to get through the next ground. Because I mean, look, the thing that I I loved about the the carnival is just man, how tough it is. It's uh, their physical games, they're, and they're fast. Uh, I mean, oh, that, that's the thing that impressed me too is uh, is is the speed. So, it, with just thinking about your team uh, moving forward, you got you got plenty of size up front. Obviously, uh, you fellas, and and what about out wide? You've got plenty of speed out wide. Well, I hope, yeah, hope so. Um, a lot of kangaroo catches out there, but yeah, I, I think um, there's a lot of new, young up and coming young fellas from back at golf that are keen to put their hands up and represent the um, the area. I guess with the Murray Carnival, um, you know, we've seen uh, the original version of that um, by you know, a couple of uh, wonderful indigenous role models in uh, Tony Curry and Artie Beetson. Um, you know, that whole idea around, you know, the importance of getting your health check uh, to be able to, to play uh, and, and getting regular health checks at that. What sort of impact do you think that has uh, on the Gulf Warriors and then also to on your extended families? Um, is it something that's, that's, that's really positive? It's seen in a positive light? Oh, 100%, mate. Um, so it's – so with the health checks, it doesn't just stop with the players. Like, you know, that, that it's creating that, that discussion or that conversation with the – with the partners and the extended families, and and it just keeps going. You know, it's promoting more and more to go in and get their health checks because yeah. they're 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 set up to find out what's what's going on mm -hmm. with us at the intern. And and I guess um the the satisfying thing about the whole Murray Carnival is probably just the the pathways it created for for young players, isn't it? And uh, we've seen that um, time and time again where young fellas have been able to push on to to state league and even NRL opportunities. Is, is that something that excites you for, for, for young players playing in the Murray Carnival? Oh, definitely, mate. You know, you put on a good show down there. Like, it's mm. it's the biggest carnival run in Queensland. You know, it's massive. Like, it's it's it's, it's a one stage to impress. Yeah. But um, with with the Gulf Warriors, we've set up a partnership with, um, so the Ipswich Jets. So yeah. with, with the boys that compete there, like, say, the boys that will compete this year will probably select a handful that will select a handful that will go down and have a crack and do a preseason, just to see what it's like to be in a, a semi-professional environment. Give, give them a taste of what, it's, what it feels like. And then it, they, they've got two, two pathways either, stay down there or either come back to a, to a, to a Cairns comp or a Townsville comp or, or back home yeah. to try and you know, push, push more of the young fellas to come through. Because yeah. I guess there's no shortage of talent up there. And, oh, man. Uh, yeah. And, and and for you, Davin, I mean, you know, just knowing, you know, the the, the talent of, of of young fellas and girls coming through, that that's exciting, isn't it? That to see see young ones coming through. Yeah, mate. Ah, oh, it's it's just all that untapped talent, mate. Eh? That's just you sort of just getting un, un, unnoticed at the moment. So yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it starts down there, QMC. Or what, what do they sound like under sixes or something under eights? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Mark Carnival, and yeah. yeah. It's, it's identifying them there at a younger age. You know, just seeing the, the, the talent in the area, hey, like it's it's something that you'd encourage young fellows and girls to, to get involved in, eh? Hey? Yeah, yeah, it is something. Um, back home, you know, obviously, every like every community, there's there's always them talented fellows that, you know, just don't want to get out. And there's a stage, all they have to do is, you know, make a move. And yeah. there's always someone watching. Mm -hmm. That's it, that's it. And and 
Now, uh, I guess uh, for, for yourselves, you know, loving the game of rugby league, can I just ask this quick one? Uh, who was your favourite team growing up and uh, who was your favourite player? Thanks. <laughs> um, mine was Cowboys until they lost the grand final. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, and then I switched to Melbourne the next yeah. year. Okay, so you're a Melbourne man. Okay, so who, who's your who's your favourite player running around at the moment for the store? At the moment, uh, Olam. Olam, yeah. What a powerhouse, eh? He's a hard hard man to stop. I mean, I had to get in front of him. <laughs> He's a beast, eh? Yeah. Um, but, for me, it'll, it'll be... Um, so my, my dad's from New Zealand, so yep. I, I support uh, the Warriors as well. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'm growing up, but my, my favourite player was a little general, eh? Stacey Jones. Yeah, I don't really yeah, know. What a, what a player too, eh? And uh, he brought a lot of heartbreak to some of those Australian sides over the years. But, uh, you know, what a what a great player for the Warriors, eh? And, uh, yeah, we're getting ready for Magic Round. And I guess for all young kids out there aspiring to play at that level, but to see their local heroes in yourselves taking part um, in the Murray Carnival, we can't thank you enough for, for what you do because I know it's a, it's a big task, obviously, to get your team together uh, and to, and to, to, to do the... The, the kilometres that you do just to just to get down here to play, it's, uh, again, something that we are so grateful for. And uh, as I said, man, even watching last year's, I know, Davin, you went there, but I, I know uh, the, the quality of footy that, that was played, it, it's something that I know the local community up there can be really proud of. And uh, uh, good on you, Dougie. And uh, it's it's awesome what you're doing, brother. And uh, thanks so much. And, um, and again, it's just a shout-out to to anyone out there that's uh, thinking of uh, taking part uh, in this year's Murray Carnival to, to get in, get registered, because uh, it's really important um, to, to, to take part and uh, represent, um, you know, your mob and, and get out there and... Uh, and you never know what opportunities can can arise from that, but also to holding up the trophy, which I'm hoping the Gulf Warriors <laughs> can do uh, this year. But uh, but lads, uh, again, um, thank you again for your for your time today. It's really good to catch up, and um, really looking forward to getting up those ways soon with uh, our Deadly Choices uh, programs, and uh, catching up with you, Davin. It's uh, good to see you, uh, brothers, and uh, stay strong, stay healthy, and looking forward to see you uh, very soon. Thanks, brother. Thank you.